Hi, what we're going to do first is we're going to create a new score in MuseScore. So File, uh, New, uh, and then let's give it a title. We're going to call it Chord Sequence, I think. Really exciting name. So once you've typed in your chord sequence, we click uh, on, well, it's already defaulted to this, but Create New Score from Scratch. Just to go through the process, click Next. Okay, I'm going to choose uh, a keyboard instrument here. I'm going to choose piano. So I know if I click piano here and we add this to score, we've got obviously the treble and bass clef. We can change the clef at a later date. Uh, but anyway, that's the first thing. Second thing we're going to do is just add in a treble instrument. It could be a brass or woodwind or any instrument for that matter. But let's, let's go and choose um, a flute, for example. So we'll add that to the score. As you'll know from... Uh, that the flute would normally be above the piano in a normal traditional score if the flute was being accompanied by the piano. So what we're going to do is just to click up on here and that puts the flute above the piano just for the sake of uh, the set of the score. Click next and then we go on to our key signature. We'll keep it really simple, keep it within C major just now. And then click next. Obviously a time signature, we're going to keep it as simple as possible. Um, our Kareem Bailey Ray song, Like a Star, was in 4-4, so we'll keep it there. There's no pickup measure in my piece just now. I may, I may change that later on, uh, but uh, I'm going to keep it uh, really simple. I'm going to keep it to eight bars as well, just, just to get it started. We can add them in, as it says, later on. So after done that, just clicking on Finish will give us our piece of music here, and that's it there. Our flute part above the piano called chord sequence. Before I start writing, I'm going to just um, a couple of little shortcuts. If you press down your control button on your keyboard, I'm not sure what it is for Mac, so apologies to all you Mac users out there. I'm sure it's like the Apple key or something. Um, so control, and if you have a trundle wheel on your um, on your PC, on your computer keyboard, uh, on your mouse, I should say, uh, then you can just trundle forward and it zooms in and out. Okay. Of course, you can do it from up here as well. You can change uh, the size of the screen here, so you can mess about with that. So, so there you go. Um, it's pretty flexible. You can move the page around as well. So I'm going to start off my first... I'm going to concentrate on the first four bars here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the bar line here and press Enter on my keyboard, and it puts these other four bars just down here out the way just now. And I'm really going to just focus on these just now. Okay, uh, when we chose our key signature, uh, there's no flats or sharps, so maybe that, that really means uh, it's a C major or the relative minor, A minor, but we'll keep it with C major just now. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a, a simple chord of C major, so a triad based on C, uh, which would be C, E, and G. So to do that, all I have to do is go up to where it says N for note and click, that's the note input mode, N, and then I'm going to click on semi brieve here. When I come down here, you'll see that uh, the note uh, appears on the stave. So the right hand of the piano or the treble stave on the piano, I'm going to click C and then an E and a G. And that gives me what we call, we call the home chord or chord one in C major. Pressing escape and that really just uh, embeds that in there. So there's my chord, C, E, and G. So, um, as you would do in Sibelius, um, if that's the program you're used to using, uh, you can copy that into your next bar quite simply by highlighting it uh, and pressing R for repeat. And there you go, it's appeared here. Now, chord progression, well, progression really means it has to move to something else. It's pretty much standard just now. I'm going to try a chord progression. It's a really simple chord progression. It's just two separate chords, chord one and chord six. Uh, and chord six, well, it's A minor. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is a couple of tricky ways that you can do this. You can either just uh, take the whole chord there uh, and you can take the whole bar and move it down to A, C, E. Now you'll notice that MuseScore moves things um, chromatically, but it also keeps the, 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 the qualities um, of the chord. So that was a major chord, C major, and I've moved it down and it's kept it to A major with a C sharp in it. Now we know C sharp doesn't appear normally in C major, 
Um, so what I'm going to do is highlight the sharp, the C sharp, and delete that and take it out. So I've got C major there and A minor. A couple of other ways of doing that again. Um, and similarly, if I move it back up again, it's made it C minor because it was a minor chord that I had in there. So what I'm going to do is another way of doing it is taking the top note and as a relevance for doing this, I'm going to move it down to the the A down there, like that. So I've got C major and A minor. What I want to do is have exactly the same thing in these next two bars. So rather than going through the process again, I'm going to press Shift and take two bars. And once I've done that, press R for repeat again. And we've copied that in to the next two bars. So that's the beginning of my, me writing my, my chord sequence. A couple of things to note before we move on. Uh, that we have CEG and ACE. Note, um, as you will, but maybe for your students to notice that uh, C and E are the common denominator there between this chord and this chord. So C and E is in there as well. And C and E and C and E. So these notes are a constant. All it's changing is the G goes down to an A here, and that which makes uh, the different chords. That's going to be relevant in our next video as we start to write some melodies, because I'm going to use these significant um, uh, notes within the chord to start to build my melody. So just a really, really kind of neat way of uh, of pointing that out to students about when you when you start to write some melody writing. Remember in Kareem Bailey Ray's song, Like a Star, we had lots of repetition. So we're going to base it, the repetition in the next video, really just on these notes here, C and D. And so that's how we're going to start it off, just to get our, our hands dirty with a little bit of competition. Okay, thanks for watching. Yeah.